If you're the guy who's always going negative or consistently losing 1v1s, then this video is for you. Here's 10 tips that will help you win more gunfights and improve your KD ratio in Rainbow Six Siege. Send this video to your friends who always drop donuts and need to get more kills when you play rank. Without wasting any time, at number one is stop sprinting. I see so many times in lower ranks and even higher ranks sometimes that people can't help but thinking they are Usain Bolt pressing sprint every five seconds. When you sprint, it takes two times longer to ADS and kill an opponent, which is why you should consider your situation and surroundings before sprinting. If you're near sight or near where an enemy potentially could be, do not sprint. This will give you the advantage in a gunfight and will allow you to get more kills. With the new season changes, ADSing is even slower, so it's an even bigger penalty for running around and sprinting. I urge you to break this habit now before it comes back to bite you later. Moving on to number two, and it's be patient. A lot of times in Siege, you will be in pressure situations or scenarios that require you to make quick decisions or clutch around for your team. In these scenarios, play slower, calm, and intentional. An enemy being close to you does not mean you need to immediately full swing, and getting drone doesn't mean that you need to turn into Shiko. Take your time, be patient, and make decisive decisions so you can clutch the round for your team. Bad players are flustered by getting droned, stunned, or an enemy close to them. Do not be a bad player. At tip number three, we got practice quick peeking. Being able to quick peek in Rainbow Six Siege is a needed mechanic if you want to hit the higher ranks. Being able to execute quick peeking correctly will allow you to get more information and give you a higher chance of winning the gunfight. You have a better chance of winning a fight on a pixel angle than exposing your entire body and getting killed. Work on this mechanic and I guarantee you get more kills and win more games in Rainbow Six Siege. Four, stop reloading after every kill. I see so often that players will get one kill or shoot a third of their mag out and then reload their gun immediately. This is not beneficial because in that time you're reloading, you could end up getting swung and killed by an enemy. Siege is a one-shot headshot game, which means having 10 bullets left in your gun is more than enough to kill someone or take another gunfight. Especially since the new reload change, when you begin a reload animation, if you cancel it, you will only have one bullet in your magazine, which is not exactly optimal for taking a gunfight. After shooting or killing an enemy, don't reload immediately and be ready to take that next gunfight. Next at number five is pre-firing. Pre-firing is when you begin shooting before you can see the enemy. This trick is not something a lot of people remember to do because it doesn't come second nature to shoot when you don't see a target. But pre-firing is a very useful tool for getting the advantage on enemies early in a gunfight. Advanced players will pre-fire off of the sound of an enemy close or swinging them, as well as the next common spot for an enemy to be hunting a refrag after they get a kill. Pre-firing will net you a lot more kills and save you HP instead of just relying on your reaction time in a 1v1. Six, learn the recoil patterns of your most used guns. It's great to have good crosshair placement, positioning, and being ready for gunfights, but if you can't control where any of the bullets go for your gun, it's useless. Use shooting grounds, map training, and other resources to master your recoil control so you're able to secure kills faster and not paint pictures around enemies. Number seven is understanding Siege perspective and peeker's advantage. I'm sure most of you have heard the quote, Siege is a swing or be swung game, which basically means in simpler terms that when someone full swings you and you're standing still, they are going to see you and be able to kill you before you can even see them, which means in a lot of situations, it is extremely important that you are not holding angles unless they are pixel peaks. At the highest level of Siege, holding angles will get you smoked and you will wonder how you ended up dying to a ghost. Yeah. Now, although some situations do require you to play more passive when you're initiating a gunfight, if you do have to swing, make sure you swing with confidence and ready to kill your opponent. Next up at number eight is crosshair placement. Siege being a one-shot headshot game, having good crosshair placement is one of the most important things in the game. So many times I see lower ranked players complain about how they should have killed someone in a gunfight and they're aiming dick level instead of at their head. Always keep your gun up where your enemy's head will be even when you're not in a gunfight. At number nine is positioning. Positioning is super important in Siege and being in a position where you have the advantage in a gunfight is always going to give you a better chance of winning. Standing in the middle of the room or proning in a corner are always going to be the worst things you can do in a gunfight and both are going to get you killed almost 100% of the time. Improving on positioning comes with experience but can be achieved by consistently thinking about what spot is going to give you the best advantage at that current time. Don't be the guy who loses rounds for your team because you're standing in the dumbest and most obvious spot on the map. Be smart about what you're doing. And the last tip on this list is grind. This game rewards time played and experience which simply put means that the more you play this game the more you will learn and ultimately the better you'll get. It's super unfriendly for new players so give yourself a break don't take everything so serious and keep improving. If you remember to use all these tips and try to improve on all these things I guarantee you will win more gunfights and more games in Rainbow Six Siege. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to support my channel to see more tutorials like this I post on all socials on a daily basis. If you guys have any questions want more tips or just want to hang out join my discord with the link in the description. Thank you guys and hope everybody has a blessed day.